Alright, time for the fight of our lives. Cynthia, the champion. Will I be able to survive? Only one way to find out. Walk through the doors. And, um, yeah. Anyways, there was someone I was gonna have here to kinda... I don't know, kinda bring some entertainment in the thing while I was talking. Like we were talking to each other and stuff. But... I don't know, I didn't get a winning attempt in like enough time or something and he ended up having to leave sadly. But I'll leave his channel in the description if you want to check him out. Anyways, back to this. One lucky you tells me many things about you. Together, you and your Pokemon overcame all the challenges you faced, it, you faced however difficult. It means that you triumph over any personal weaknesses too. The power you learned, I can feel it from you. That's enough talking. Let's get on with why you're here. I, Cynthia, accept your challenge as the Pokemon League champion. There won't be any letter from me. Yes, sir. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Ah, oh, this music is so good. Well, I'm gonna turn it up a little bit. There we go. Okay, sends out a first Pokemon here to tune it. I send out Togekiss. I originally was gonna send out Infernape, but. Since um, since it ran out of Fire Blast PP and uh, and I don't have any like elixirs or ethers with me, sadly, uh, I can't do that. So here is my improvise. Here is who I improvise with. Anyways, I am gonna allow myself to heal only once this battle. I was gonna do no items, but eh, this fight's already as tough as it is. Besides, she got she has like three full restores, which kind of annoys me, but. Oh well. One won't hurt. And air slash misses on the first turn. That's that's a bad sign. Okay, okay. Thank god this is Toge this thank god this is Togekiss. A special tank. Alright, should be able to do it, KO. And since it's faster, it can't really flinch from Dark Pulse, thankfully. Nice. Alright. That should take it out. Yeah, that, there we go. Alright, one one down. Five to go. And Togekiss grew to level 74. Which is a nice bonus. Alright, alright. That's good. Sending in Milo took second. Okay, I don't know how I feel about this. Hmm... My best bet is, ironically, Infernape. Uh, so let me just send him out real quick. Yoshi the Infernape. I don't know why I keep not using the nicknames. Oh uh, yeah, and I put um, on the seals for their thing, for the vault capsules. Anyways, uh, sunny day, it's a weekend, it's water moves. And then I'll hit it with a solar beam. And it should probably be able to tank one of its surfs, because I know it has. There's no point in healing it. It I might actually survive a second one if I'm lucky. If it can, then I'll be really happy because I really want Infernape for a future member of her team. Back to this regardless. All right, let's see. I highly doubt it though. I won't be mad if it dies. Yeah, okay. Critical hit was kind of unnecessary, but eh, whatever. Alright, who do you send out next? Okay. So the thing is, I've ha I have tried this battle a few times, and there is a strategy I want to do, but I don't know if she's gonna hit me with enough surge for it to fail. So I think I'm gonna have to set up a little less than I wanted to. Because on one of the intents I was able to get all six um curses set up. Because of how dumb I was at this being. Like, I kept using Aqua, Wing, Aqua Ring and Euro Coat. Co and Ice Beam. No, I kept using Ice Beam and Euro Coat. And Ice Beam does even less than Surf, so. Uh, yeah. Alright. Should I do a substitute? Nah. All our moves are special, so. Set doing that would be kind of pointless. Anyways, time to set up. I'll probably do like. 
I think two or three would be good. Yeah, I, I'm just gonna do one more so I can get this part over with since my Lotic has kind of been annoying Pokemon. Anyways, the second one's up. Alright. <laughs> Oh yeah, and the other attempt, Barrel was level 69, <laughs> and we were kind of like emphasizing that joke a little bit, <laughs> probably from the Koppa thing, so I can, so even though I'm not eligible for ad revenue, um, I can like, I don't know, honestly, whatever, let's, I'm just gonna ignore that and move on, but let's see if it's enough to take out, and yes, I have strength because uh, I don't have a return TM, so this is the next best thing I have for now. Anyways, it did faint, and we got some good experience. Alright, the sunlight is gone, just in time. And there's the leftovers. Sending out Roserade. There goes its setup. Uh. I don't think it has Stone Edge. Cause I gotta heal Togekiss with a roost, not um, uh, not with the healing item. I want to see if I can do this item list though. I'll try not to use an item, but if I have to, then it's gonna be like a healing item, like not a what you call it, um, uh, revive. I'm not. I'm gonna not. I'm trying not to use a revive. Yikes! That critical hit hurts. But, let's just get it over with. I don't want to deal with this Rose Raid later on, so... There we go. Critical hit! That's a nice bonus. Alright, that's getting a little scary. Alright, here comes the big boy. Garchomp. I think it's a girl, because it's Cynthia, but... It probably is a girl, so I'm sorry for seeming in general like that. Yeah, it's a girl, that's what I thought. Anyways, let's just do what I've been planning to do since the last time I battled you. And also Ponto's level 69, again. Anyways, there goes the Toxic, and now I have to be able to stall it. Not with Poncho though, because that's it was only here to set up that Toxic for the Garchomp. With that out of the way, Poncho is probably going to go down. But you were a fine member of the team. Thanks for setting up that tox. I mean, that toxic. Anyways, uh, let's see who I should send out next. Oof. I'll send out Barrel because the last time I fought her, like before the rematch, um, I used Barrel to stall her out. I think I might do that again. I know it has Brick Break. Hmm, uh, nah, I'm gonna, it missed, alright, alright, and I was assuming it would use Brick Break because it's, um, uh, Vibero, but, oh well, I'll take it. Alright, one, I'll set up another one so I'll be able to take more Brick Breaks if it keeps, if it starts using that, and then I have to start attacking it. Yeah, there goes the Brick Break. Good, good. Didn't even do half of its damage. I mean, health. That's good. This battle's going really well so far. I'm liking this really a lot. And should I? I'll give it a shot. There goes another Brick Break, that is still pretty scary. The thing is that I'm hoping it doesn't do a critical hit. That's gonna take out a chunk of my health. But, it's nice to have it there, I guess. Anyway, the health is, I mean, the poison is slowly withering away on its health. I'm sweating a little bit from the sweater I'm wearing, but that's not the point. I'm also sweating from the battle. Alright, it's gonna take its damage. 
Alright! I mean, alright! <laughs> My god, I can't talk. But yeah, it didn't do enough damage, so it's able to take another hit. That's good. Don't do enough to kill it. Wait, the point's gonna take it down. Alright, that's good. We are all good. Well, the guard chomp is down. But, there is the... There's the Lucario and the Togekiss, so... Alright, I'll switch out for, um... My Togekiss, because it's able to take it out. Thanks for the substitute, though. That was really nice. I wish one of my members needed the baton fast, but oh well. Forgot it was faster. No worries though. Cause I'm gonna send on my other member. Right. Okay, this is kinda I'm really nervous. Cause I know I outspeed it somehow. I guess it's speed EVs are higher. I don't I don't know. But I'm still scared because that Togekiss is probably could take out my entire team. Or um, the rest of my team. If I'm unfortunate if I'm very unlucky. Okay. Uh, hold on, let me check out who's left. Oh I forgot, I haven't even sent out a, a member I still have left. So I'll keep out um Ryu for now. It's your last Pokemon. I can't remember the last time I was put in a corner like this. Probably the last time I battled you. Anyways, uh okay. Should I do flash cannon or go for stone edge? Because flash cannon does neutral damage, but it'll definitely hit. And then stone edge will do super effective damage, but it could miss. And I only have two PP left, so. I'll go for stone edge, let's see what happens. Alright, good. Good, good. Should do a little over half, and then maybe my Espeon could finish it off. Alright, here comes the Aura Sphere. Goodbye. You are a good member of the team. And don't worry, this is not a- this was not a Nuzlocke attempt that I had tried, because I wouldn't have kept- wait, did it just live? Okay, that caught me off guard. Because last time I didn't live through the Stone Edge, I mean through the Aura Sphere. And with that, that actually ends the battle. I think. Yep. It's over. We actually won. I didn't even use my entire team. What the heck? <laughs> oh my god. Just a few minutes ago, you were the most powerful challenger. Just now, you became the most powerful of all the trainers. You are now our newest champion. And I've got 15,600 Poke Dollars for winning that. That was excellent. Truly an outstanding battle. Gave the support your Pokemon needed to maximize their power. And he guided them with certainty to secure a victory. You have both passion and calculating coolness. Together, you and your Pokemon can overcome any challenge that may come your way. The those are the impressions I got from our battle. I'm glad I got to take part in the crowning of Sinnoh's new champion. Come with me. We'll take the lift. Oh, that felt good after like five or six attempts. All right, let's go. Uh, okay. Where are you, Cynthia? <laughs> the room ahead is the Hall of Fame. Yafad, your last battle was splendid. Oh, hello, Pro Professor Rowan. Hmm. A child and listen from my Pokedex project has come this far? It's only natural that I come and witness the child's crowning glory. Yeah, but I shouldn't call you a child anymore. You've grown into a real champion for the second time. Professor, you still enjoy the enthusiasm kids bring to your research, don't you? You have accept this. Yeah, it's. I mean, I thought this was um, Professor Rowan. Yeah, if it's set this way, please. Pro Professor Rowan, please join us. Wow, leave me behind. Thanks a lot. The champion of the region. Only to be left behind by the former champion and professor of the region. No matter how many times I come here, I always find myself standing up straighter than usual. It's a natural reaction. It It's a natural reaction, professor. Stupid, meh, stupid mouth. This room is a legacy to the hopes, dreams, and struggles of Pokemon and the trainers to excel. 
Yafet, welcome to the Hall of Fame. Your dance will be recorded for posterity here. What are you leaving the me are the memories of your adventure so far? It's time to record your names, you and your Pokemon. Remember, your Pokemon are partners that grew with you through many challenging battles. This machine will take a permanent record of your achievement. Alright. Time to talk about their roles in the battle. Togekiss. Here to take out the Roserade and help with stuff. I don't know. Espeon did nothing in the battle, surprisingly. Barrel W Barrel helped stall off that Garchomp. Pachirisu set up the Toxic for the Garchomp. Lucario took out several scary members like Lucario and Togekiss. Infernape took out the spirits who met this. No, I actually did. Oh, yeah, I took out the Milotic. Anyways, congratulations! Rest in peace, B Barrel. You, you are now forever blocked by Togekiss's wing, while Lucario is blocked by B Barrel's tail. Yeah, you can see why this is kind of not the best idea. I thought it would be like a line a little differently from that to be prevented from happening. Playtime? 95 hours. Yeah, it took a while for this to allow myself to beat the thing, the game for the second time. No, yeah, whatever. Anyways, thanks for watching. This video is like pretty long, even though it's like a champion battle. But oh well. I guess I'll be seeing you.